You're often advised to stop and smell the flowers, but here on the rocky shores of the Philippines, that is the last thing you want to do. Because within these rocky outcroppings lies the most deadly sea urchin on earth, and the only one with the ability to kill you. And what else am I going to do but hop on in there and try to find one myself? It is going to be dangerous. I am a little bit terrified, quite nervous, but we're going to head on out there and show you this beautiful yet deadly animal in front of the camera. Now I have to admit, I've done some very stupid things in my life, but for me, night snorkeling is by far the scariest. The current thrashes me around like a dog with a chew toy, towards jagged rocks infested with sea urchins. Not that I can see them, since my only weapon against this infinite black void that surrounds me is a tiny beam of light, which I'm worried will run out of battery at any moment. And it's not just the sea urchins I have to worry about, not including the two I've already posted, I've filmed five other venomous sea creatures from just this one spot, so one wrong move at any point could very well be the end of me. But luckily Poseidon seemed to have my back tonight because I managed to brave the currents and find my target before it found me. And after putting it in my tank and emerging like an angry kaiju from the turbulent sea, I'm ready to show you guys the scariest thing out here. By sub miracle. We found the flower urchin out of a sea. Hundreds of other sea urchins. We found the one we were looking for. We're gonna get a good light on this guy, check him out, and get a look at why this is the deadliest sea urchin in the world, and why it's the only one that can kill you. All right, here we are with the flower urchin. Now, I am snorkeling around there, crawling over rocks, infested with deadly creatures, but out of all of them, I was most afraid of this. At night, sea urchins crawl on top of the rocks. They are everywhere out there, and if a wave is rolling my body around and I'm not paying attention and up some part of me brushed against this, that could have ended terribly, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why that is and why this animal is so dangerous. Now when I first caught and saw this guy, he actually had adhered all these little bits of rocks and coral to him, and you can see them in a pile on the bottom. He's actually grabbing them and dropping them as we speak. Now, why this urchin does that is to one, form a little defensive cocoon around itself, why it would need that when it has some of the world's most potent venom and the most potent venom of any sea urchin, don't ask me, but another reason is ballast. This helps keep the sea urchin from being swept away in these tough currents, and as this tide is coming in, I felt myself being busted around and swept around, so I can see why this guy would need it and why I would definitely need something like that to avoid running into this. So the thing that makes this sea urchin so deadly is the same thing that earned it its name and its beauty the little flower-like spots you see on it. It almost looks like a pink petal with a red center. And those, not its spines, are how this thing can kill you. Its spines are actually really dull and wouldn't even be able to puncture your skin. But the little flowers, those are called pedicellaria. And when they're open, when it's a nice circle, it's harmless, but the second you touch it, it snaps shut, and those things are comprised of these little fangs, and when it snaps shut, it makes this little triangle, and if those fangs get in you, it will inject you with a wicked, wicked venom. And what's even worse is that these little fangs, once they're embedded in you, they can break off and continuously for hours still inject you with venom, which by that point might already be too late. So what exactly does this venom do to you and why is it so dangerous? The biggest symptom is muscular paralysis. It'll shut down the movement of your muscles and of course, when you're swimming in the ocean, that is not something you want. It'll also disorient you, make you very confused as to what's happening, and it can also lead to trouble with breathing, which of course, when scuba diving or swimming in the water, is also the last thing you would need. So it's very, very possible to drown after getting affected by one of these guys because you can hardly control your body. Well, I can't believe we found the deadliest sea urchin on Earth, the flower urchin, to be holding in my hand something 
that has the potential to kill you is truly awe-inspiring, and I really hoped I could educate you guys on this animal, so next time you see one, you can do everything in your power to avoid it. We're gonna let him go decently far from me because I'm gonna keep swimming out there tonight, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Keep a lookout for more covering more deadly sea creatures, and I'll see you guys next time.